Welcome to our next tutorial of Mesh Surface for SOLIDWORKS. As you learn how to create cross sections, we will learn how to use our tools to help you to create uh, great uh, sketches. We all know that sketching in cut industry is really important and let's try to do this. This is an example part and you can use any part but this is great for the training purposes. So what I want to do is create a sketch just in the middle of my part. So I'll select my top front plane and from the context menu I can select create cross section. I can just pick the plane and put it somewhere in the middle to create a good and nice slice. Because this has a draft probably I need to work and create my sketch here. So I'll create my sketch onto this slicing plane. When I'm happy with this I'll just press OK. Now we have another plane created in SOLIDWORKS where we can create our sketch and I will go in the sketch mode. If you installed our recent version you will see a quick bar of mesh surface. It may be on the side, it may be on the top, but you can just place it where you want to be or if it doesn't exist you can always turn this on by selecting mesh surface quick bar. Now you can use the button for hiding meshes so they don't interfere with your process. So what you can do here is actually use the normal sketch commands of SOLIDWORKS and you can draw lines and arcs in the normal way and use our cross section just as a reference. But what we have here is a functionality called fit sketch entity which is accessible from the command bar here or from our quick bar. If this is disabled this means that you are not in sketch mode, so you need to enter in sketch mode in order to use this functionality. So let's try to explore what this can do for you. When you enter for the first time, there is an option here which is called Instant Fit, and for now I'll just turn it off. And what you can do, you can just hold your left mouse button and just brush on top of the points to select them. You can hold the Shift key to remove some of the selected points that you don't need. When you are happy with your selection, you can pick one of the four options here that will allow you to fit line, arc, circle or even a single point. In this case this is a line and I will just press fit. The same way I can fit the top one and will press fit. We have an option here for the brush size. You can adjust the size of how big you want this to be. This is your personal preference. The other option you see here about the lines is that if the line is really close to being horizontal or vertical, it automatically will make it um, horizontal or vertical depending on uh, the orientation of the line. There is another option here which I'll uncheck now to show you. Fix the lines in SOLIDWORKS. Let's press OK and see what happens. We see that these fit lines appear in SOLIDWORKS and as I said they are now horizontal or vertical automatic. But what happened now is that I can easily move this and change the position, not in the desired way. So that's why there is an option to fix these lines while you create them in fit entity. I will delete and go back and use this to demonstrate what I've done. I can just select and fit my line here. And when I press OK, this line will be fixed. This is useful because sometimes you don't want to move this and get the best accuracy. I'll just delete this again and go back to my fit sketch entity. Another option that we have is that you can actually use what we call the instant fit. Then when you are in the instant fit, um, well, you just increase the brush size. What the software allows you a couple of options that will do automatically fit when you brush over the point. The first option is automatically line or circle. And what I mean with this, if I just brush here, if the software decides that this is a circle, it will generate a circle. If I brush on top, it will automatically create a line. This is quite useful uh, functionality. I will just always can undo what I'm doing now. So what my goal is here actually to create the main shapes and then probably create fillets and so on. So in this case, I can just press uh, paint on this and it automatically will create a line for me. I'll brush over here. So as you can see now, I have these two lines. 
same thing I can do on this side. In some cases, in more complex areas, you may want to actually temporarily brush, but not fit a line instantly. But for example, if I just hold shift, it will disable temporarily the instant fit. So I can just brush here, 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 here. And when I'm happy, I can just release my shift key and this will fit through all these points that I have selected. So use the shift key temporary to disable the instant fit. So far, I managed to create my shapes here. And let's explore the next functionality. There are two other options here, which you can see. One is called the intersection tool. If I select this and if I brush over, it automatically will intersect these two primitives. The other option is that you may want to automatically create a fillet. If I just paint this here or I select these two, it automatically will analyze the data underneath and will create the fillet for me in the best possible way. Let me just undo this for now. And when I'm working with the instant fit, it's useful that I can do this on the fly. So if I hold the control key and brush over on the corners, the first step it will do, it will just actually intersect them. But if I brush again on the corner, it will make a fillet. This is quite a useful functionality for you quickly to create your sketch. I hope this is useful for now and in the next part we'll just explore what the auto join mean. So let's carry on and analyze what this auto join means. I will just press undo now to get my guiding lines here ready on the screen. Here probably I need to create maybe a couple of more lines here. Let's try to do this with the instant fit. I'll just get a fit line. Uh, this is useful because if I am automatically line or circle, the algorithm may not decide correctly, but if I'm here, it's always I'm sure that whatever I paint, it will be line. What I mean with this, even if I paint here, it always will be aligned. I'll just press Ctrl Z for now. So let's explore our last option here, which is called Auto Join. This you can turn on or off. And as you can see, the software automatically connects the primitives and creates the best fillets for you. As you can see, I can just brush here and the software intersects them and here it thinks it's a fillet and it created this fillet for me. So this will just close the contour and in order to fix all everything, I have to do this. Now this um, didn't decide that it's uh, possible, so that's why probably I can use the control to intersect and then I can use control again to close my contour. So the auto join function really is useful for quickly to recreate your contours. What is the minimum radius is that sometimes if it intersects here, if the radius of the fillet is less than the given value, it will assume that this is actually uh, a sharp corner and it will not be created. For example, if I say that I, I want this to be 20 millimeters, the minimum, as you can see, it manages to create this as a fillet. But these corners, they just remain, they just remain sharp because the fillet radius is uh, less than what we set here. This is useful if you want to avoid some fillet on the corners that are caused by the inaccuracy of the scanner. In this case, of course, one is good enough. And as you can see, this is my uh, shape. And to finish the demonstration, I just press OK. And everything is recreated in, in SOLIDWORKS that I can use this later for um, my extruded surfaces and so on. Here you can use just a normal um, smart dimensions of uh, SOLIDWORKS. For example, this should be 30 and it automatically will improve your sketch. And when you're happy, you can just press OK and you can get your ready sketch in SOLIDWORKS.